How's it going? For a video today, going to be about that NFL playoffs wildcard weekend, so let's get to it, shall we? Um, San Francisco rolled over Seattle. Brock Purdy looking like the real deal. I still think Frisco looks like they could be the team to beat. I mean, now they may have their quarterback. You know what they say three times a charm. They look very good. Seattle had a good year considering Geno Smith and everything, but they all their flaws came up. They were poor tackling. Uh, they just fell apart in the second half. And Frisco didn't even play a great first half. They played with them, and then they blew them out. So when you went by 18, you, need, you don't play your best. Frisco is probably the scariest team definitely in the NFC that I've seen, in all honesty. No surprise there. And then we get to that night game with Jacksonville and the L.A. Chargers. The Chargers are the most um, disappointing team I can think of in the last 40 years. You go back to the 80s with Dan Faust, Wes Chandler, uh, Kellen Winslow Sr., who was a beast, John Jefferson, Chuck Muncie. And then you uh, you had James Brooks. And then you go into the 90s when they did get the Super Bowl with Stan Humphreys and them. And then you fast forward to the OOs with Drew Brees before Phillip Rivers and LaDainian Thomason and Gates, the tight end. You know, you think about um, the people that they had. Uh, and they got Bosa now on defense. They got Herbert, who's... You know, a quarterback keeping the tradition, Rodney Harrison. You think about the names and the people they've had, and this team doesn't have, except for one Super Bowl appearance, much to show. And they choked again. Trevor Lawrence looked pitiful in the first half, came in the second half, lights out. Say what you want, Doug Peterson has a way with quarterbacks. He has a way. Remember when Philly ran him out for benching Carson Wentz? How's Carson Wentz fate been since then? And Jalen Hurts looking like an MVP candidate, so... Jacksonville's playing with a lot of feist, a lot of bite. Um, they're very resilient, that's all I can say. So they came back, the third biggest overtime comeback ever. So the Chargers need a new head coach, and they're wasting Herbert. That's what I got to say about that. Trevor Lawrence, he finds a way. You don't beat him by talking about it. Then we get to Sunday. My team, the Buffalo Bills, played. That was a crazy game. Buffalo should have won it by 20 but they could have lost it by 10. If Miami had a better a coach who had more experience and a quarterback a little bit more experience, they would have beaten the Bills. The Bills were sloppy. Josh Allen threw two bad picks and that fumble and got sacked seven times. And for all that, to still win by three, somebody was watching them. But uh, Scarlett Thompson played all right for Miami. They dropped some passes you know, early. And uh, Tyreek Hill, he's going to miss Patrick Mahomes. Believe me. Um, you know, it's one of those games, they had Buffalo won, but it was not something that you want to write about. Could have could have gone either way. Then we get to the Giants, Minnesota. Um, Daniel Jones looked good, but then again, who doesn't look good against Minnesota? If Kirk Cousins, he's a, th- he's a borderline second, third-tier quarterback who gets treated like a first-tier quarterback. He's a stat patter overrated. I like Jefferson a lot at the wide out spot. Um, and Cook, you know, and I don't know what happened to Adam Thiel to ride out because he was Cooper Cup before Cooper, but they just a one trick pony. They soft and no one is afraid of them. Are the Giants that good or was Minnesota that soft? It's a combination of both. Saquon Barkley look good. We'll see what happens with the Giants in Philly, but who didn't want to play Minnesota? You know, there's some teams you couldn't wait to play. That was one of them. I think Minnesota, the Chargers, and I would probably say uh, Tampa Bay. Those are teams you wanted to play. You wanted to play them in the first round if you had to. Cincinnati beat Baltimore. Huntley missed that, made that fumble at uh, that play, but Baltimore should have won that game. They all played Cincinnati for the most part, but you are missing Lamar Jackson. It's an elephant in the room. Baltimore won't do right by him. And you could tell that leadership was missed. And Harbo, I don't know what he was calling. Yeah, no. Burrow looked very ordinary. Hmm. Sometimes you better lucky than good. And we'll see what that means. You know, so. But, uh, you know, that was a tough, that that 98-yard fumble at the goal line. Oof. That's how it goes, too. You you cough it up like that, and usually you're going to lose. Usually. Nine and a half out of ten. And then tonight's game, which, well, you, you, Dallas was the better team. Tom Brady needs to retire. 
He's washed. He's done. Stick a fork in him. Dick Prescott played good, but really, let's be real. That interception at the goal line, that was the turning point right there. You, you pretty much after that pick six, um, you could have just gone and gone home. Tampa Bay should go ahead and made reservations because that was it right there when he threw that bad interception. And uh, they can't run. All their flaws been on display all year long. Dallas beat they behind. I don't know if Dallas is that good, but I know Tampa Bay is that horrible. And I know Tom Brady is washed. And he should consider getting in that Fox blazer because it really it looks bad. And it ain't going to get better. Even though he play in a whack division and you can walk around division flag, it's pretty bad. Anyway, that's my NFL playoff week one wild card weekend. There was a few interesting games. There were some lackluster games. Looking for the real round to begin next weekend. We'll catch you. Let me know how your team did. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for nothing. Share the video if you want to. And uh, it ain't that adventurous. There's some teams that just didn't really belong. They just got a token trip. I'm out.